Well guys, this is kind of neat. If you're into thermal and if you have a Pulsar, you need to be aware of this new update. It came out a few months ago and it changes the entire thing and gives you something that you don't want to miss out on. It's a ballistic calculator. We'll just jump into it then. First, you'll notice I'm a little more comfortable at the range today. I usually wear cargo pants. But these are my recreation clothes. But I like pockets and I always carry my handgun. But now I can carry a handgun in sweatpants thanks to our sponsor, Arrowhead Tactical. Arrowhead Tactical makes athletic apparel for the concealed carry in mind. It's like made by shooters for shooters. So now you have the most comfortable and safest clothing for everyday carry. The coolest thing about this is the interior belt loops. So we have interior belt loops inside the sweatpants that we can put a belt and especially their Omni Carry retention belt. It's nice and stretchy. So you can do everything. You can jump around with it. And it doesn't move. It just stays put. So you can stay safe and armed and comfortable at the same time. There will be a link down below. So make sure you check it out. Get yourself some joggers and hoodies, all that good stuff. Now let's get on with the shooting. Now this Pulsar Trail 2 laser rangefinder I've used for a while. Shout out to Todd Huey over at Lone Star Boars. He took me on my first hog hunt and then I'm like, yeah, I need a thermal and got a thermal, love a thermal. Once you do that, really, you don't use night vision so much. Night vision is great for navigation and driving around, but thermal detection, hunting, the fence, yeah, you need the thermal. We had an update with the firmware that I'm running uh, the uh, stream vision right now on my app. So we've done a video with this before that you can go check out. And it's even more stable and better now where, uh, well, what I did was I used this as like a corner shot because then I could lay this phone down behind cover and then I could just go shoot all day long without even exposing yourself if the hogs were shooting back or something. So what's even better now is we have a ballistic calculator integrated into our thermal optic. With this new app, we're able to have a lot more profiles. We can name them actual text, and then you can even Bluetooth to your device. Today we have 300 blackout subsonic. We have a couple hundred rounds from our friends over at ammunitionusa.com. They're loading up this 220 grain Sierra Match King. We're gonna be shooting it in my fold AR because this is actually uh, kind of my carry gun that goes with me everywhere in a backpack. But you know, 300 blackout subsonic drops like a rock. It actually drops even worse than a nine millimeter because it's going the same speed, but it's almost twice as heavy. We're gonna put it, plug it in at 50 yards zero and see if we can reach all the way out to 300 yards today. On the app, we'll see uh, what our drop is gonna be for, and we can just drag this over our distance and know how many MOA. So let's go. If we're gonna go for a thousand meters, it would be a 200 MOA drop, 2,350 inches if we had a 1,000 meter uh, 300 blackout subsonic. On the profile itself of the bullet, that's where we put in our ballistic coefficient, our velocity, the rifle height, all the, all the little things that you need to know. It's uploaded to the optic, and we do everything with the rangefinder, and we get a double reticle. I am dangerously close at 100 yards to my camera tripod. So we're gonna skip the 100 yard target, which is glowing red right there. And we're gonna skip to the buffalo at 170 yards. Uh, it's gonna be 28 inch drop for that buffalo. So we're gonna see what the optic says, because this is gonna be a standalone now. Oh, there it is, 164, I was right the first time. And now on the optic, what you're gonna see is that blue crosshair dropping low. That's our hold. So now it, we went out to just a uh, full picture mode. We are at 8X. So if I put that right at the center and load the gun, we'll be ready to fire. We'll see if it drops in with that 28 inches. We hit. Let's do it again. And again. All right, so I can't see with my naked eye those splashes, but we obviously hit. Let's go a little further. This next one is that the LaRue target 178. Our little blue crosshair went a little bit different, and we're gonna go ahead and just put it right up between the shoulder blades. I saw it hit on thermal. I saw the splash. That was that was uh that was cool. It went down. Let's go to 200. There's our glowing gong at 200. Range it. 204. I lied. It's actually further. We can put a couple more in there now, though. We're gonna wait because the picture's probably gonna change my default. No, it didn't. So would you, oh, there it went. Now it changed. It's right there. Looked like a high hit by the way it wiggled. Oh, we missed our first miss. It hit again. Oh my gosh, one more. 
Oh, I don't know if they're hitting high or low because I'm in thermal. We hit just the same hold. Pretty cool with 300 blackout subs Sonic. All right, uh, let's. I want to see what our inches and in drop what it says because the next one should be around 270 and it's going to drop nearly 100 inches. Range it 263, so it's going to be that's funny. It is actually below my zoomed in screen, it's so much of a drop, it's down below it. All right, but now we're back out into our big screen. Let's just put it right dead center. Heard a different metal. Let's try again. I think we're hitting low on this target right in front of it. So just because we saw that, we're going to go for shoulder right there. That's a hit. They're hitting, we're getting the sound report after we hit it. But there we go with our good 100 inch drop. Actually, probably a little bit more because I had to give it a little bit of holdover. 900, 900. <laughs> so there's the problem, guys. After I went down range, I found all my shots were a little low. Can't see them from here. I was like, oh, I guessed on the velocity. The box says 1050. I was like, it's only a nine inch barrel. I'm going to put 1025. And actually, our actual velocity is 900. So if we would have trued better, we would have definitely hit everything out there. Remember, we were at 100 inches when we were shooting uh, uh, the 200 yards. We're going to save it, go to our calculator. 270 yards is now 126 inches. So we were 26 inches low because we put in the wrong velocity. But you saw all those groups down there. I mean, the 200-yard group was like this. So good ammo, good optic. Just put in good data, and you'll be a lot better. But I do love what Sierra Match Kings do subsonic to steel. Uh, I didn't, I, I just caught one of these on the ground on the way back. But there's a bunch of them down there though. They look so cool. Here's the coolest thing about it. A lot of companies may say just, oh, well, if you want that, you'll have to buy the newest, latest model. And it's tempting because something with this kind of ballistic calculator in a night shoot for a, for a varmint hunt, that's extremely valuable tool. But no, they said, hey, you know that Pulsar Thermal you bought five years ago? We're going to update it for free. And I think that's pretty cool on them. And I am very happy with my new range toy. I guess that's all for today, guys. Remember, check out our sponsor, Arrowhead Tactical. And thanks for watching. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.